Gamerheads Podcast is part of the Little Fellow Media Podcast Network, sponsored by podcast host Budsprout, the easiest podcasting software for hosting, promoting, and tracking your podcast. Seven of them sausages, Charlie. Five minutes, Douglas. It was two minutes, five minutes ago. And welcome to another episode of Five More Minutes, a show where we talk five more minutes about topics outside of the world of gaming. And today, we are going to be talking about the movie Gemini Man. And which Christian, is which out is, this week? Is it out this week? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Starring Have you seen Will it? Smith and... Twice. Will, Will Smith. Smith. <laughs> yeah. Gemini Man, because Directed they're twins. By, yes. <laughs> Directed by Ang... Ang Lee. Ang Ooh, critically right. acclaimed genius behind Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. And some of the X-Men movies, if I'm not mistaken, right? Didn't he do some X-Men movies? He did the first Hulk movie. Oh, the first Hulk movie. Maybe that's what it was. That's just <laughs> some superhero movie. Uh, yeah, cool. And Christian, you wanted to talk about this specifically for a reason. And Christian, I'll let yeah. you take that. Yeah, I figured we'd talk about Gemini Man, not because the movie's good. If the critics are to be believed, it's crap. But the fascinating part about this Gemini Man filmed and directed by Ang Lee is the fact that it was filmed with these special cameras that captured the action in 120 frames per second HFR, which stands for high frame rate, in 4K resolution and native 3D. So that's a lot of buzzwords. There's a lot going on there. There's a lot that this camera recorded. So 120 frames per second means the image moves a lot faster or smoother because the frames flash on the screen more quickly. So you're getting more visual information. And p lots of people don't like that, especially cinema snobs. Mm. Do not like the high frame rate. That's why they don't um, like this movie, probably. That may be. Maybe. Yeah. Because it looks like a soap opera because a lot of soap operas use yeah. cheaper cameras that record things at higher frame rates and when that goes on the screen it looks very smooth and people associate that with low budget content yeah so, it's interesting because i mean you're right i mean it's like well i don't know the cameras are cheaper but like the technology is better but it, people consider i watch things and i'm like this looks so cheap <laughs> like this looks it doesn't garbage. have that that gloss on it yeah mm -hmm. it doesn't that you want to associate with escapism yeah. If I wanted to watch something that looks like absolutely real life, I'll just walk outside. Yeah. 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 But that's not it. It just wasn't in 120 frames per second, which is unprecedented as far as movies are concerned. Uh, there was the Hobbit movies that tried HFR for the first one. And then people are like, I don't like this. This looks gross. And so Peter Jackson just forgot it, it, it ever existed. <laughs> yeah. It's also in 4K, so high resolution. And also in 3D, which is a fad that has since passed, but I guess not because of Gemini Man. But the very interesting part about this is all of these things are together in this movie, but not a single theater in the U.S. is showing this movie the way it was filmed. There are 13 theaters in the U.S. that are showing it in its maximum frame rate, 120, in 3D, but it, they're only showing it in 2K, so mm. half the resolution it was filmed in. Mm. So I guess, what do you, do you guys think there's a future in any of this stuff? Do you guys think that... Making movies like this have a place. Is there any reason to make movies in such crazy fidelity like this? Well, I mean, it seems difficult because you know that movie theaters are having such a hard time anyway. And the future of, of movie theaters themselves are in question just regardless. So to expect them to upgrade to all this crazy stuff especially when it's an unproven look like you said nobody liked it in the hobbit nobody everybody associates it with soap operas it doesn't make financial sense it feels like you know putting your effort in the wrong direction yeah and a lot of these theaters i mean outside like the the larger ones like the smaller theaters can't keep up with that kind of stuff anyway so no they can hardly keep up with the demands the studios are already putting on them like exactly. the, the insane stuff that disney says the theaters have to do to show a star wars movie exactly so like i don't know i think this is weird like i don't know what are they trying to Unless unless more movies are being filmed in this, like I don't understand why this was such a big deal. The only other thought I could have is like they think, well, this would look really great in home theaters. I don't know. 
Oh, that's actually not a terrible suggestion. Mm -hmm. It does kind of seem like the filmmakers were just geeking out over technology just for <laughs> yeah. the sake of it. <laughs> yeah. You know, reality be damned. Well, and and I mean, this is the first of its kind film like this. And then if you have this, you know, you, you if you own this at home, like, wow, like, look at now I can actually use my technology that I have at home and look how cool this is. And it's the only movie so far that's filmed like this and I own it. And this is this justifies the technology I have for my home theater. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't know. It's weird. It is weird. Yeah, I can't think of, huh? I can't think of a lot of reasons why he would do it, other than the fact that he's come out in interviews saying, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe how crazy good this looks. I can't film a movie a different way again," which is what they all say whenever you know they were saying that back when 3D was a thing. But I like the idea of going to the theater and watching something that my eyes have never seen on a screen before in the context of a movie. That sounds really cool to me, but there's a reason why I have never seen that before, because no, there's 13 theaters in the U.S. that can almost show this thing the way it was intended to. Yeah, and they are not where we live. <laughs> yeah. No, no. And, uh, I mean, it's a good thing that it's a there bad it movie. There it is. That's our five minutes. Bad movie like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right well that, that's it that's the end that's the end i'm sorry we got you off there christian but yeah. that was five minutes <laughs> good perfect good perfect so listeners uh we'd like to know what your thoughts are on this topic as well you can also send us a tweet and let us know do you think this is a good idea i don't know we'll see but uh until then thank you again for listening and we'll talk to you next time see ya bye <laughs>